Hello everybody! This is Tina from the Painted Ridge Art Studio and I am bringing you in the studio today because I am excited to be sharing this absolutely amazing art journal. I call it amazing because I worked on it together with my eight-year-old daughter. She, and as I've mentioned this before in other videos, but in case you've missed those videos, she had said to me the other day about, you know, why didn't I do an art journal for children? <laughs> <laughs> and when she saw that I didn't, and a lot of my art journals are typically geared towards adults, she said, well, you know, mommy, kids do art too. And of course, you know, I know that, but her, her point was do an art journal for, for children too. So she worked on this with me. So this is a collaboration between my, my daughter and I. Okay, so we're just going to dive right in so I can show you all this. And this journal is now listed on my website. Uh, which is the painted witch studio.com the cover is i went you know bold bright colors so it's it's a flower drawing that i had done i kept it very simple i kept you know bold outlines of really heavy on the black and beautiful bright colors of of pinks and greens and all sorts of things i i went with everything all the colors in the rainbow pretty much are in this cover so the spine, um, I added some fabric to, and of course, some more painting on that. We went for some fun dyed um, fabric strips here that I've punched holes in and just tied them up here. So this has got some beautiful fabric ribbon sort of detailing on the edges here. She wanted to add a little pan painted blue clothespin um, to it as well. She, her favorite color is blue, so we went with that. Um, now I added a silk blue tassel here again, the blue, because she loves blue. With, I'm going to point this out with this journal. I kept the embellishments simple. So what I mean by that is typically, if you've seen my other art journals, I had a lot of bling. I had a lot of beads and all sorts of things, but I didn't want to do that with this. And the reason for that is because it's for children and I didn't know or I didn't want something that was easy to remove and becomes a choking hazard. So I didn't add buttons for closures. I didn't add beads or safety pins or anything like that. That would either hurt a child, you know, or, or be, like I said, become a choking hazard. So none of that is present. If as a parent, if you're buying this for a child and you think that even the clothespin is something that, you know, you don't really want them to have, this is removable. So you can just remove that and not have, let them have that. But everything else is should be fine. It's just ribbons and all that sort of thing. This is the back. So we add some numbers here and everything, all fun. Now, the center ribbon here, the one that's the deeper pinky purple color, that's the closure. So it's just a simple tie to fabric strips together and it just opens up. I did not add any paper clips or anything like that. Again, choking hazard. So I was trying to keep that in mind. So inside here, this paper clip is just holding in this tag. We added some glitter. So there's that. The back is just plain. Some dyed fabric here that also has some glitter. So that's a fun little tag. They can use it as a bookmark if they want. I'm just gonna tuck that aside right there for now. The front part here has a pocket envelope so they can tuck little things inside that they want, little notes or little, little pictures of, you know, pieces of paper that has little drawings on it or that sort of thing. So they can have that there. Art book, lots of colors in this. And I also left a lot of pages blank because some kids, you know, like to have that clean slate. They just want to start on a fresh page. This is one of my daughter's little drawings that she did some stamping so I went with the same thing that I do with my other journals which is I just used a variety of different papers and different shapes and different sizes and different textures so we have origami paper old music sheets craft paper here we come again with some nice bright colors and some mark making on it some old book pages, again, some more origami, just adding simple shapes on here as well. This is just some collage paper. 
this is a drawing here. Again, just keeping in mind it's child friendly, kind of geared towards catching, catching a child's interest, inspiring them to create and add their own creative voice in here. I love this, it's just nice messy splatters of color. This is textured um, collage paper. Another one of my daughter's drawings. I just did a scribble flower, then she said, no, mommy, that's not how kids draw flowers. And she, <laughs> she went ahead and did, and did one beside mine. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Some more stamps. Confetti collage. So this is a nice, good book. It lies flat. So there's not going to be any um, struggle for little ones with their little hands or anything like that. <clears throat> Another little drawing she did. I'm not putting an age like ideally for, you know, having it listed on my website or even saying now this is good for children this age and up. I'm leaving that up to you as the parent or if you're an adult who's buying this for a child, uh, somebody else's child, please um, just you know, leave that at your own discretion at whether this is, you know, the right age for, um, you know, what the right age is for, for whoever you're buying it for, whether this is something that that would be good for them or not. <clears throat> and then we have this this opens up like that some label painted labels I have here and then this is the back of the book so I'm just going to tuck this back in here so like I said this is now available on my website it's in the same area that my other art journals are listed so you can go to the paintedwitchstudio.com to get all the details of the measurements and um, the number of pages, that sort of thing. Just gonna tie this up. And as I told my daughter, and I just wanted to let you know too, that any, if this, when any money made from this, any earnings made from this is going right to her. So she's all excited about that because I wanted to teach her about money and the concept of money and the responsibility of money and all that other fun stuff that we adults have to, have to learn <laughs> or had to learn a long time ago. But anyway, there you go. There you have it. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. And I hope you're excited about this as I am. And even if you're not a child and this is something that grabs your attention, you know, this is, like I said before, this is for, you know, children or someone who's childlike at heart. And that's okay too, because I love this. I love this and I would use this too, because I just love the bright colors and it just makes me want to dive in and just use some nice bright colors as well. So it's not limited to just children. So just wanted to put it out there. Thank you so much again, everybody. Have a fantastic day. And it's almost Friday. One more day to the weekend. <laughs> Take care, everybody.